Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a video on how to use Notion with clients. When I first started using Notion, this was like one of the first videos I ever looked up trying to find and I didn't find a ton. There were a couple and I'll link them below. But the one that I wanted to make or, or wanted to learn didn't exist on YouTube. Um, I wanted to learn how to do client proposals and client portals inside of Notion and that just didn't exist. So I made it for myself and it is part of my template, my uh, business tracker, which is part of my Notion Foundation's all access bundle as well as my smaller template bundle. So you can check it out there. So today I'm going to be walking you through um, just some of the things that you can use Notion for when it comes to client work. So whether that's working with um, a client and setting up a portal for them, setting up a proposal or a contract even, um, as well as the other apps that I use alongside of Notion because you can't do everything in Notion. You obviously can't invoice using Notion. So I kind of share some of my process currently how I use it as well as some recommendations. So anyways, this is a uh, part three of my five part series on Notion for Business. Um, we will get back to ADHD content right after this series. I have some really exciting video ideas coming up um, as well. So I'm really excited. Uh, so anyways, hope you guys subscribe for more content and let's get to the video. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I have a client proposal. Now this is actually based off of somebody else's template. This is Sarah Loretta's template. She's actually one of the first people that I saw making content about client stuff on YouTube. So her, her template is $10. I'll leave the link below, you should check it out. Um, so I kind of edited it, but basically you can see here's a little bit about me. Um, you know, company values, that sort of thing. And then we've got the steps of the client journey, my project scope, project investment, next steps. One of the things I added was a list of apps that I use. So that's something, and then frequently asked questions. So again, you, these are all toggles. So this is, again, what I use for a proposal. I still to this day use this proposal. Um, and I just change out the name of the person and a little bit about the steps of whatever process I'm working. I'm probably gonna redo my banner. I don't really like it very much. But that is literally my first step is I, I use the, pro the proposal um, form that I got from Sarah from her template. Um, but the rest of the templates that I, and then, so this is not part of my bundle, um, but the rest of the templates uh, are. So I wanted to just kind of walk through that, that that's the first step of the process is whenever a client comes to me, you know, that is what I do. For how they even get to me, maybe we'll take a step back and kind of move away from Notion for a second. I wanna show you my entire process from getting somebody, you know, messaging me to all the way to getting, you know, invoicing, getting money, and then setting up client portals, that sort of thing. So we're gonna just kind of move through the entire process. I just wanted to share this to start, that this is Sarah's template, um, and you should definitely check it out below, um, in addition to mine, which is more about managing your business and a little bit more of the client portal side. So this is my current website. I'm gonna be updating it. It needs a lot of work, but I've recently done a few things that are really interesting. So the first thing is I did was I created something called an everything page. So this is actually uh, generalfield.com forward slash everything. Um, I learned about this from a great girl um, named, I think her name is Elizabeth. Um, I linked it at the bottom, but basically I've created a list of all of my different offers on one page, which is super helpful for people that want to know everything. So that is like the first step is you can see all the things that I offer. For example, I have all my Notion stuff, all my freebies, all of my templates, that sort of thing. You can see everything that I have. So when people want to actually reach out and, and contact me, I have the contact page. So I have um, an area here where it says contact us. I literally have the form. Um, I used to have the, 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 you know, call free call set up, but I've recently removed that because I had a couple of scammers come in and try to like book a call with me and then try to pitch me on something. So this is kind of the first step. So what will happen is they fill out this form. This form is actually a, uh, just a basic contact form. And then I get an email from my CRM software, which is FG funnels. It'll say somebody contacted us on the contact form. And so then I have their email they put here. I also have their phone number. I usually email them back and then I say, here's the link to a free call with me, especially if I kind of have to read it first. Sometimes again, the contact can be something super scammy. So I kind of gatekeep my free call page to people who are actually seriously wanting to talk to me. Also, if people DM me on Instagram or on LinkedIn, this is a great way to, so then I don't actually send them to the contact page. I send them straight to the free call. So I will share the free call. I'm going to like 
close the link so you don't see what the free call link is. Unless you really want to, maybe I'll put it on my YouTube channel. Um, you guys seem to be a good group. So it's actually jenneredfield.com forward slash free call. Okay, so that is actually my link. So then what I do is I have people book a time. Again, this system is also through FG Funnels. So I set up a free booking link. I People can select a time and it's the same thing. Name, phone, email, uh, website. I also put like username. And then I also ask them what they need help with. So that's kind of the general consensus. When they fill that out, again, it books a call actually on my calendar and on theirs. So that allows me to know when they wanna talk to me. I usually do about a 20 minute call. And then what it actually sends them to is my Zoom link. So I actually have it as well. Again, you probably won't be able to access this because I'm not gonna be on Zoom, but it's just generalinfo.com forward slash Zoom, which then that is the link that they get. They join the Zoom link and then wait for me to accept them into the Zoom. And that is how I set up my initial call with clients. Then what I do is I go through that call with them, figure out what they want, if, if I wanna work with them, the reason why they're contacting me. What I usually do is I record the call, I can transcribe it into something like Otter, and then I you know, get to work on the proposal. So having a proposal kind of set up is really helpful. And then I usually send that to them as a Notion link in an email follow-up. So that is kind of my process for getting clients. Once they you know, decide that they're ready, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can set up a contract with an invoice, or you can have them just pay like upfront. Um, I've done that with a few clients. There are ways that you can do this in like FG Funnels again, which I use, or you could just set it up. Um, another option is Tally, which is a great website. It has options for contracts. There's so many ways you can do it nowadays with AI. You can create a contract probably using ChatGPT. Again, you might wanna have a lawyer look at it first, First, but there are ways to create different, you know, things that you can set up so that people sign a lot of signature apps. I'll leave a few of them below, but really that is honestly the main thing that I do for client work, you know, from there, then I set up my client portal, which I will show you guys in notion. So this is my client portal that I created for my clients that I use for everything. So you'll see, it's just kind of a basic, I've got a to-do list, I've got a, a content calendar, and then I have three different buttons uh, or pages that I've set up. Again, this is like the bare minimum and I obviously change it for each client. But the first thing with content marketing, one of the things that um, I ask for is like social media access. So whether that's like a last pass or something, or if they have a login information for me, um, that is something that we can set up. I've also got the social media pillars. So if they have different pillars that they use, I've got the TikTok hooks. I don't know why this is all the way over here. I think there's added two different layers. I, I add some TikTok hooks that again is like a great resource for people. And then also this one's really interesting is I add um, a style guide area. So this is where they can um, insert a PDF or a link to their style guide um, so that I have access to that or I can put stuff in for myself because that's usually something I have to work with people on. Then I have things like payment, contract, hours tracker, contact info, meeting notes, and resources. These are all things that I've set up. And again, you can go through these um, in, in the template. Some of these, again, like the contract, I could just put a PDF in there. Hours tracker, I have used that before. If I track hours, again, contact information, you know, email, you can add things like phone for each person. If there's meeting notes, something that you can set up for yourself um, once you've gotten this template or if you wanna make it for yourself. You know, if I wanted to create resources and put it in there. Payment, this can like track the payments. And the contract, again, it's just a place to hold the contract. So this is super basic. I also have the projects. These are some of the goals that people might have. You know, maybe they wanna go viral. Maybe they wanna, you know, what, what's whatever their goal is for working with me. And then what are their offers and business projects? So this is like, what are the things that they're offering so that we can go back to that? So again, I have different clients for different things. I have some video clients. I've got some marketing consulting clients, but this is really the main way that I could set up a portal for them. Not every client uses Notion, but I've kind of recently obviously gone down the full Notion route. So I really highly recommend people use Notion. But this is a great place. I could also put things in here like an audit or notes or different things. And this is just kind of the hub where people can talk. They can comment. I actually have one of my clients right now who's commenting back and forth with me on here, almost like it's Slack. 
there's a lot of different things that you can do. And then to-do lists, you can also do things like add a person. So if a person gets added to this, you can tag them to do that sort of thing. So this is a really, really basic setup of a client portal. It is part of my a template, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think it's really helpful to know is, you know, ways to use this. And I, maybe I'll show you a little bit of the back end of FG Funnels as well and kind of how I've set that up for myself. One thing about FG Funnels is they recently did launch their own client portal area. So just FYI, that is now something. So one thing about FG Funnels is they recently did launch client portals. Again, they're part of the go high level or high level um, options, which is basically what this software is. I use it because it has a ton of great templates. Um, so you could set up a client portal. But one other thing you can do is you can set up like contact forms. So I have a contact form, which I need to actually update because I haven't updated it since they came up with a bunch of different great options with templates. So you can see right here, they have a ton of different templates for con um, contact forms or for like, you know, free call forms. So I need to update mine, but you can see then I've set up an automation in the automation area. So I have an automation. So when somebody contacts me, I've had 200 people contact me. It like goes through a whole workflow where it, uh, if you go here, um, it adds a contact tag. So it's either a customer replied, a customer replied or a form submitted. Um, it adds a contact tag, it creates an opportunity and it sends me an internal notification, which is very helpful. I've set that up for myself and so that is how I like get the contact information. If I wanted to set up like a contract, another thing you can do in the payments area, I, I might have to try to hide some of this because um, again, like this is my actual stuff. One of the things that they have recently set up is proposals and estimates, um, but they also have invoices. So you can basically set up an invoice, tag the person who's already in your system and send them an invoice. Another thing you can do is you can copy the link to that invoice, put it inside of Notion um, or inside of an email, which is super helpful. I have so many things and I love FG Funnels, you guys. If you haven't checked it out, I have a link below. It's an affiliate link, but it's so worth it. I run multiple websites on here. You can have multiple domains. It's got my email marketing. It's got literally everything I do besides Notion is in FG Funnels. I don't schedule social through here, which you can, but I don't. Basically, those are like the two softwares I probably use 80% of the time. So use it again, like for people filling out forms, for booking things with me. Again, email marketing, I sell through here. I sell actually my sales page for my Notion Foundations course is on here. The course is in Thrivecart. So I do use quite a few different apps, um, but this is kind of the main ones that I use for business. So another thing you can see over here under opportunities is I have a CRM inside of this as well. You can also create a CRM inside of Notion. So I'll show you guys that real quick. I talked about that a little bit before, but I wanted to just share that again. One thing to note is that all of my client stuff is actually in a separate account. So I have about four different Notion accounts and this one is specifically for clients only. So my only things in here is clients. And then I also have one that's personal. And then I have one that is for my template. So I have a template one. And then with my client one, I actually have like the original template. So then I can just duplicate it and then add it. So I have like a list over here of past and current clients. I'm not going to show it to you obviously, but I have that available as well. And then within my template, my business template, I also have a CRM, which I'll show you guys right now. So this is within my online business tracker. I have a CRM, so you can actually go there by going to client operations. I've got things like, again, my client portal template. I also have a CRM. You'll see I have a couple of different options. I've got the companies, I've got the contacts, and I've got the testimonials. So if you open this, you'll see I've got things like the contacts here, and you can see you have the name, the tag, the status. So if you go over to the status, you can even see in the Kanban board view, you know, what what they're doing. You can have, again, a test name. You can add so much to this. You, go, you can shut, you know, does this person have an intake form? One thing you can set up for yourself is an intake form. I've used different softwares. I've used FG Funnels. I've used tally.so. Um, you can have things like their website link, their Instagram link, their client, whatever it is, you know, where do they work? This is a fake person. Um, but I just kind of was like, all right, let's, let's do this. Okay. Maybe they have a testimonial. You can add that there as well. 
So this is kind of where I store, and I store this for not just clients, but just anyone I know, any networking. I have a huge CRM on my personal. I don't know if I'm gonna show that, because again, it's a lot of people in my real life. But this is really you know, the, the basics for um, the template, is using this as a CRM, you can start to track your current and, and, and leads um, as well. I did a whole episode uh, last week about how to track your leads. Um, but that is really like how I use, again, Notion. I use it in conjunction with quite a few different apps. I would say my CRM, I, I don't use it as actively as I do maybe on FG Funnels or using my email. There's different ways you can use CRMs in your email as well. But I just wanted to share that because I think it's really important to you know, know how to organize all of your business stuff inside of Notion. That's why I'm doing this series. I think a lot of people can run their businesses using Notion. And I think that a lot of them don't know where to start. So highly recommend checking out my templates, checking out all of my courses below. I teach so much more about Notion. I'm going to be coming out with more courses too. I'm super excited. I'm in the process of recording some new courses around digital organization. I'm super excited. So make sure to subscribe for more videos. This has been kind of a walkthrough of how I use uh, both Notion, FG Funnels, a couple of different platforms to work with clients, create client portals, that sort of thing. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.